As the manager of a department, you may have to create a department budget on a regular basis. Are you wondering how to do that efficiently? Hello everyone! Welcome to Excel Demi, your day-to-day -day Excel and Vivi tutorial helpline. This is Hadiul Basher and today, I'll demonstrate how to create a department budget in Excel. For this video, I will use Microsoft Excel 365. This is a sample department budget. In this tutorial, I will show you the detailed process of creating this department budget from scratch. Let's quickly refresh our idea about the department budget. A department budget is a department level financial plan about the spending in the upcoming days. Let's say we are talking about a department that deals with boysware and the products are divided into multiple classes like tops, bottoms and outerwear. Moreover, each class is divided into multiple subclasses. For example, tops is divided into t-shirts, tanks and shirts. Again, we have the predefined budget distribution in this segment. This includes the class, the subclass and the budget for October and November. The total budget is divided into the budget for October and November. Using this data set, I will create a department budget for the month of October and November. Now, I will set the department total budget for the month of October and November. One thing I should mention here that the data like the department total budget and the budget distributions may vary from business to business. So, you should input your own data to create your own department budget. In this case, I'll set the total department budget as 50,000. So, go to cell D16 and set the budget as 50,000. This is the total budget for the time period October and November. Now, I'll divide this budget that is 50,000 among the classes tops, bottoms and outerwear. To do so, I should insert the distribution percentage for the tops class. To set the distribution percentage, go to cell E8. Now, I need to set the number format as percentage first. So, go to the home tab. From the number section, you can click on the sign of the percentage or press Ctrl Shift percentage. As a result, the number format is applied to the cell E8. Now, I'll insert the percentage for the class tops, in my case, this value will be 70%. You should insert your value accordingly. So type 70 and hit enter. You can see the budget distribution percentage of 70% is set for the class tops. Next, I'll set the budget distribution percentage for the class bottoms. So go to cell E12, press Ctrl Shift percentage to change the number format to percentage. Then set the percentage at 26% in this case. Now hit enter. Next, set the budget distribution percentage for the outerwear. So go to cell E15, change the number format to percentage by pressing Ctrl Shift percentage and set the percentage as 4%. Finally, hit enter. As a result, all the budget distribution percentages are set. The total value of these percentages should sum up as 100%. So to check that, select the cell E16 and type equal. I will use the sum function. So type sum. The sum function returns the summation of your selected cells. As the number one argument of the sum function, select the cell E8. Now place a comma as the number two argument of the function. Now click on the cell E12. Place another comma as the number three argument of the sum function. Select the cell E15. Close the parenthesis and hit enter. And you can see the sum function has returned 100%. So our distribution is complete. Next, I will calculate the OTB. OTB is an inventory management strategy a business uses for a certain period of time. It is the amount needed to purchase a specific product to achieve the set target of the projected budget. And to calculate the OTB, I will multiply the department total budget with the corresponding department budget distribution percentage. So, to calculate the OTB for the class tops, go to cell D8, type equal, Select the department total budget that is 50,000 in cell D16 and multiply this value with the budget distribution percentage of the class tops that is cell E8 and hit enter. 
this returns 35,000. This means the total budget for the class tops is 35,000 for the month October and November. This $35,000 will be distributed among t-shirts, tanks, and shirts according to a predefined distribution percentage. Now, let me set the distribution percentage. So, go to cell F5 and set the distribution percentage of t-shirts as 65%. In case of tanks, set is at 28% and for shirts, set the value as 7%. As I have said earlier, this distribution percentage may vary from business to business. So, you should insert your own data in these fields. Now, the sum of these percentages should be equal to 100%. So, go to cell F8 and check the value. So, type equal. I'll use the sum function. So, type the sum function as the number one argument of the sum function. Click the cells F5 to F7. Close the parenthesis and hit enter. And the formula has returned 100%. So, our subclass wise distribution is complete. Now, I will use this distribution and the total class OTB to calculate the OTB for each subclass. So, to calculate the OTB for t shirts, go to cell D5, type equal, select the OTB for the class tops, that is cell D8, press F4 to lock the cell reference and multiply this value with the percentage distribution value for t-shirts that is cell F5 and hit enter. So this is the dollar amount that will be spent in the period of October and November for the subclass t-shirts. Now similarly to get all the OTB for the subclasses you can use the autofill feature. In this way you will get the OTB for all the subclasses This OTB will be distributed between the period of time October and November and for that reason you should follow the predefined distribution percentage in this section of the dataset. So to get the amount of money to be spent in the month of October for the subclass t-shirts go to cell G5 type equal select the OTB of the subclass t-shirts that is cell D5 and multiply this value with the distribution percentage for the month of October for the subclass t-shirts that is cell M5 and hit enter. This is the dollar amount to be spent for the subclass t-shirts in the month of October. Similarly, to get the budget for all the subclasses, you can use the autofill feature. These are the values of dollars that we will use for the subclasses of the class tops in the month of October. Similarly, to get the budget for the month November, go to cell H5, type equal, select the OTB for the subclass t-shirts, that is cell D5, and multiply this value with the percentage for November, that is cell N5, and hit enter. This is the dollar amount for the month of November for the subclass t-shirts. Now, use the autofill feature again to get the dollar amount for the subclasses, tanks, and shirts. In this way, you will get the detailed budget for the month of October and November. Now, to calculate the total budget for the month of October for the class top, go to cell G8, type equal. I'll use the sum function, so type sum. As the number one argument of the sum function, select the cells G5 to G7, close the parenthesis and hit enter. This is the amount that will be spent for the class tops in the time period of October. Now, to get the amount for the month of November, use the autofill feature and you will get the total amount for November. Now, the budget for t-shirts in the time period October and November should sum up as 22,750. To check the value, go to cell I5, type equal, I'll use the sum function, so type sum, as the number one argument of the sum function, select the cells G5 to H5, close the parenthesis and hit enter. And you can see that the total amount matches with the OTB for the subclass t-shirts. So our calculation is correct. Now let me use the autofill feature to check this for all the subclasses. And you can see the values match with the OTB values. Now the budget for October 
and November should sum up as 35,000. That is the total OTB for the class tops. To check the value, go to cell I8, type equal, select the cell G8 plus, select the cell H8 and hit enter. You can see the total amount matches with the OTB for the class tops. So, our calculation is correct. In this way, we have calculated the detailed budget for the class tops. Similarly, you can perform the same process to calculate the detailed budget for the class bottoms and outerwear. Let me quickly perform these calculations. I have applied the formulas in a similar fashion to calculate the detailed budget for the classes bottoms and outerwear. Now, we have the data of all the three classes I will use this data to finally check if the value matches with the department total 50,000. For that reason, I need to calculate the total budget for all the three classes in the time period of October and November. So, go to cell G16, type equal, I will use the sum function. So, type sum as the number one argument of the sum function. I will add the values G8, place a comma, then select the value of the bottoms class total for the month of October, that is cell G12, place a comma, finally select the cell G15 and close the parenthesis and hit enter. This is the budget for the month of October for all the three classes. Similarly, to get the budget for the month of November for all the three classes, let me use the fill handle and in this way you will get the budget for the month of November. Now, the budget for the month of October and November should sum up to the value 50,000. To check the fact, go to cell I16, type equal, select the cell G16 plus, select the cell H16 and hit enter. You can see the total amount 50,000 matches with the initially set department total of 50,000. So, our calculation is complete. In this way, you can create a department budget from scratch. I have demonstrated the step-by-step -step guide for creating a department budget in Excel. Hopefully, you can apply this knowledge according to your requirements and convenience. You can download the practice workbook from the video description to sharpen your Excel skills. Feel free to leave any questions, suggestions, or feedback in the comment section below. You can go to exceldemy.com to read our Excel blog, or you can share your Excel-related issues in our ExcelDB forum and receive free solutions. For more content like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching our video. Bye.